stretch and glue frames are any frame where the mesh is glued to the frame. That frame can be wood or can be metal. Now metal is better than wood because wood warps while being processed through water and the metal won't. Of course even metal frames can be warped with, from welding but both of them are unsatisfactory and if you watch our video about retentionable frames you'll get the message. First of all when mesh is tensioned to its potential it relaxes 25 percent within two hours and then if you don't retension it it continues to lose tension. Ultimately the mesh is going to be dancing inside the frame it's going to be moving and when it's moving you, you will be unable to butt register colors, for example. You'll be smearing the ink on the shirts rather than depositing the correct amount of ink as defined by the image in your screen. You'll also be pushing the ink into the garment, so the color of the garment will be coming up through the ink film and you won't have the color strength and the opacity you're looking for. That leads you to flash curing. And flash curing is a killer on productivity. You want to avoid flash curing. So all the dominoes fall and there's more. For example, people who have low tension screens typically wipe the bottom of screens. If you have properly tensioned screens, you will never wipe them. You can't stop an automatic printing a thousand shirts an hour to wipe screens, so why should you as a manual printer be stopping to wipe screens? You're wiping because you don't have the right equipment and the right knowledge. It's simple. You have to have tight screens. And screens that you buy that are pre-stetched are not tight. You might think they're tight because you've never seen anything better, but they're really not tight. And after that two hours, when you've lost 25% of the tension, what you're going to do on one of these retentional frames, and I have one right here, you just put a wrench on the corner here, which is like a big nut, and you rotate the roller, and you recover the lost tension. In fact, you raise the tension to an even higher level than it was before. Wait four hours, and you're going to lose another 15%. Same story. Put the wrench on there, recover the lost tension, and raise it to an even higher level. By the next day, you'll have lost 5%, so you're losing less and less tension. Then you're able to degrease and coat the screen the first time and print. After the print run, you scrape out the ink, remove the stencil, use a biodegradable product to remove the ink residue, so you're back to just frame and mesh and then put the wrench on there and rotate it because when you're printing you're deflecting that mesh causing it to lose tension. So we want to recover the tension and after you've gone through that cycle several times and accumulated 500 prints on one of these screens you get to work hard and status. That means the tension at the beginning of the job and the tension at the end are the same or so close that there's no degradation of your print quality. That's the, that's the real value, is from the retensioning process. You do not have that opportunity when the mesh is glued to the frame. And yet so many shops use stretch and glue screens. They think they're saving money. They're not saving money. They're wasting money because they have to stop and wipe the bottom of screens. They have to pull the squeegee more slowly because they have to be careful with these when the mesh is dancing around on them and they're flash curing and printing in. If you print flash print, like white ink one color on a black shirt, the average screen printer says he prints about 35 shirts an hour. The same screen printer when putting black ink on a white shirt, no flash involved, says he does 100, 120 an hour. The productivity difference is 400 percent. These frames are a very valuable addition to your business. So that's why I say number two on the list, stretch and glue frames, a killer. Don't do it. Go for the simple one. 30 years of printing. I have more than 30 years. I have only 12 of these. But we don't save images we don't, on screens. We save the positives. We may save the art. But, but I don't want to save them on the screen because I know the screen's going to lose tension. And I always want top-notch tension when I go to the press. It makes setup faster in terms of color registration and of course the printing. And the other thing is your health because when you have those soft screens and you're pulling the squeegee, 
the mesh that you've just pulled over is extended like a tight rubber band, but the mesh in front of the squeegee that you have not yet printed is compressed and it forms a wave. And so you're pulling that wave and that's where carpal tunnel in your wrists and elbows comes from. So it's a, it's a health hazard to use stretch and glue screens. These screens don't form the wave, easier to print. Okay, so number two, get rid of those stretch and glue screens, sell them to the next fool on Craigslist and go for retentionable. That'll pay you a big dividend.